is Joan Nichols. I am with Representative Tom Tilber from District 51B. Welcome back to Capital Voice. Good to see you, Joan. As always, and especially now, uh, it's an opportunity for us to really visit about what this past session in 2010 was really all about uh, so that people understand uh, right. the, the totality of what was accomplished. I think when I've gone to school boards and city councils and so on and have had those televised in trying to to say the message of what had happened in 2010 and what was supposed to happen. Originally, our sessions, you know, go two sessions. The first one's usually a budgetary deal and it goes from January till um, the middle of May. And then the second one, this last year, mm -hmm. is from February till May, the middle of May. And that is typically a bonding year. That's right. when we typically do the bonding piece. However, because of the forecasts that happened in um, November and then also in February, it showed that we were going to have a deficit situation. It was unprecedented, actually. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. More than, than you can imagine. I mean, it was, it was quite uh, steep as far as a, de a deficit goes. Uh, so our job really wasn't just bonding any longer. Our job was to now go back into the budget and balance the budget because the Constitution in our state says you have to balance the budget. So what did you do in the state legislature to balance that budget? Well, we, we did quite a bit. Um, I, I would like to say that I, I would have liked to have seen more for the future. Mm -hmm. um, that is one thing I wanted to do. But, I mean, we were able to cut the budget almost $2 billion. In this year alone? This year alone. The good news about that, because I don't necessarily think that's all that great when you think of the deficit, um, because when you do cut, that does cut services. Right. Somewhere along the line, there's $2 billion worth of, of services that are not going to be seen by people. But one of the things that we tried to protect, and I think we kept pretty firm, was our nursing homes. And then also um, our veterans, we, we kept that pretty pretty static with no cuts. And what about the schools? Well, the schools, we tried to protect them. But with the shift that, that has happened, a shift is where you know you can basically push something into the following year and um, you know borrow against it. And so that's what we did for quite a sum of money too. Um, more than we've ever done in any type of shift ever. And in so history. what did we do to protect that shift? Well, we want to pay it back. And so I, I know that Governor Plenty wanted to suggest that, oh, let's not pay it back. Let's just make it a cut. Well, uh, we couldn't handle that. We, we just cannot do that with our schools. And so I didn't like to have to take the shift out to begin, or to do the shift to begin with, but to say don't pay it back, um, that's, that's not acceptable. However, we do have a limited amount of time that we can pay it back. Um, we've stretched it out, I think, as long as you can, but at least we've made the promise that we will pay that shift back. So in addition to the re these reductions that were made, what else did the legislature do? Well, I think when we looked at different reforms, um, you know, we had a small business uh, initiative uh, that looked at different ways to do things. We had um, mandate reduction within K-12 finance. We had local governments coming with ideas of how they can redo and redesign things, which really goes right into what I've been saying kind of the whole time is we need to focus on three things. And I look at the three R's, and that was we need to reform, we needed to reduce, I still think we need to have revenue. We need to have the revenue pieces that make sense that fit within that. So as we go forward now in the interim, and what are the challenges and the issues and how do the three R's, how are those going to work as we prepare for 2011? Well, I think when we do get a new legislature, they are going to have to focus on revenue, a bar, part of that. They can't just balance on two. They have to get that th third one. And what does that mean? That's the argument. Let, but let's find out. When you think of our tax structure, there's over 30 different tax exemptions. Some states only have two. So that's one area to look at, too. So, I mean, when we talk about revenue, we have to talk about that. I think we're going to look forward to hearing more from you, Representative Tilbury, um, and we'll look forward to the opportunity to talk with you again on Capital Voice. Thanks a lot. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too.